Appearing before the Committee of Legal and Parliamentary Affairs was the Prime Minister Dr. Ruhakana Rugunda, who was invited to give his views regarding the Constitution Amendment Bill 2017. Dr. Rugunda explained the importance on the bill. Madam Chairperson and colleagues, government fully supports amending Article 102B. It should be left to the people to decide. Political parties should be at liberty to determine who their flag bearer is. According to the Prime Minister, government had plans to present a similar bill, but when MP Rafael Majazi tabled it, they decided to endorse it. It's a very strong view in the government that since government shares the same views as Magazi, why doesn't government take it over? So that it becomes a government bill instead of becoming a Magazi bill. But after that debate, the conclusion was Magez has taken initiative instead of hijacking it as a government, let's support him and the government is solidly supporting him. The lawmaker suggested the restoration of presidential term limits and a total abandonment of lifting of the presidential age limit proposal. Do you consider restoration, restoration of uh, term limit when we are considering? Do you think it would be an appropriate provision to bring back term limit? My position on this is that uh, ultimately, ultimately, power belongs to the people, and let power decide. Uh, let the people decide on that issue. Power belongs to the people, and uh, Chair Ndogunsereko should succumb to the power of the people deciding. They also wanted to know why some leaders do not retire. Under our current legal regime, civil servants do retire. And the reason they retire is not because they can. For example, I'll give you an example. Doctors retire at 60, 65. Do you, th do you think a doctor at 66 cannot treat a patient? May, by the way, say, no, no, no. I will retire. Oh, I can even forget using the name of, uh, of an individual say, for parliament and for president, the people of Uganda decide. And if there is any decision that has been radical, in my view, it has been the parliament of Uganda. Rugunda gave his opinion on the events of the 27th September when suspended MPs were evicted from the house by special security forces. It was extremely regrettable. And to answer you, I have not seen anything like it before. The Prime Minister noted that the chaos caused by the age limit debate can be handled in a civil manner. When we invited the Honorable Katuru Wama, the same thing happened. When we invited the Honorable Alan Sewanyana, the same thing happened. When we are invited by Honorable Kasozo of Machine, the same thing happened. I think we should endeavor to ensure that this process we are engaged in is as open, as clear as possible, and if there are problems, we should address them quickly. The committee was given 45 days starting 31st October in which to scrutinize the bill. It will interface with a number of people to give their views before a report is prepared. More research all in TV at Parliament.